world, my name is David Dorn, and here is an idea. Now, recently, I was a part of the Willow Creek Global Leadership Summit, which featured speakers from around the world with a variety of backgrounds, all talking about leadership. It was a fantastic conference with some really fantastic speakers. The one guy who really stood out to me, his name is Ed Catmull. Now, Ed was one of the founders of Pixar and has gone on to lead Disney Animation Studios. And he wrote a book. It was a New York Times bestseller. It's called Creativity Inc. If you are a Disney fan like myself or a creative person or somebody who is interested in leadership, you have to read this book. It's fascinating. But in his presentation, Ed went on to talk about failure. And he said that you should fail quickly and fail early. Because from that, you can learn so much about yourself and about the organization that you are a part of, that you should give yourself permission to fail. And I've heard some of those ideas before, but I sat back in the conference and I honestly, it was pretty arrogant. Because I sat back and I thought, man, this doesn't apply to me because I've never failed at anything. It's an arrogant idea, I know. But it was in that moment sitting in the conference that I, <laughs> the light bulb went off. You ever have those moments where you just kind of see yourself in the mirror for who you are and it's not always a pretty picture? Yeah, it was one of those. I realized that I have absolutely failed, but I've never really owned it. I've always just assumed it was other people who contributed to the failure in the organization or whatever it was I was a part of, that it wasn't actually me. And I would justify it in that way. And that's not a really great way to live. You see, I couldn't actually own up to any failure that I have participated in in any organizational structure because I had never given myself the permission to fail at anything. I'm a very driven person. And because of that, I don't like to have the failure as a black mark on my record anywhere in any regard. And that's not a really good way to live or interact with other people. You see, what I've come to realize is that if you don't really own up to your own failures, you can't benefit from them. There is an immense wealth of understanding and knowledge when you actually process something that has not gone the way you wanted it to go and be able to learn and extract information from that. And if you never own up to that failure, you miss all of the benefits of failing. And I have done just that. You know, there's this famous Greek expression that was popular at the time of Jesus. In fact, it appeared on a lot of Greek architecture, and it is this. Know thyself. Know thyself. I love that idea. But I would even take it a step further. Know thyself and be able to articulate it. You see, the idea of knowing thyself comes with the understanding that you know the good parts about yourself and the not so good parts about yourself. And being able to articulate it means that you are well versed in it enough to not leave a path of destruction in your wake. That you understand who you are and you own up to who you are well enough to not destroy and hurt other people in the process of doing life, at least not as much. So lately I've been in a process of self-reflection, looking back at things that didn't actually go my way in a professional sense and wondering and asking myself the question, what did I do to contribute to that? So I can learn from that. So I don't do it again. And so I don't hurt other people in the process. You know, the question that we should ask ourselves is not, have I failed? Frankly, we all have. The question we really should ask ourselves is, have I been brave enough to own up to it? Because when you do, that's when something good can really happen. So that's the idea that's been rumbling around in my head for the last few days. What are ideas that have been rumbling around in yours? Or what are ideas that have challenged you to think a little differently? Leave them in a comment down below. I would love to read them and I'd love to talk with you about them. But if you enjoyed this video and or have gotten something from this video, please click like and subscribe and share this with your friends. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.